Is your old piano worth fixing? Possibly. Uh, pianos uh, last a long time, but they do have a finite lifespan. Most pianos, uh, most pianos were made in the United States in 1920. Uh, there were a bunch of good piano companies, but really any of the pianos made in the 1920s uh, were, by today's standards, exquisite pianos. Today's pianos are full of plastic parts, particle board, plywood, masonite, Kevlar, a lot of different building materials. Some of them, I mean, there's a lot of cheap building materials out there. Uh, so the biggest difference then, if you go back to a piano from 1890 or 1910 or 1950, uh, most of those pianos had solid hardwoods. Uh, and it's in, in new pianos, that's expensive instruments. You can pay $12,000 for a nice piano like a Mason and Hamlin or Charles Walters or Steinway before you get to the quality of parts, which was very standard in 1920. So is yours worth it? Um, if you like the piano, if it's sentimental, it's your grandma's piano and it's from 1905, but it's been sitting in the barn or the garage and it's in awful shape, well, that might mean it makes, needs more work but it is probably restorable. Pianos became standardized in about the 1880s. Uh, so for over 110, 120 years now, uh, you can get pretty much every part. I can order new hammers and belts and leathers and tuning pins and strings, and I can put in new soundboards and pin blocks, and everything on this piano that wears out can be replaced. So you can take, this is just an example, this piano has not been restored, this is an old, uh, 1924 Packard, made by the same company that made the Packard automobile. And these are wonderful pianos. I'm just using this as an example. There's nothing about this piano that cannot be restored. Um, and when you get done with it, it is worth as much or possibly more than an equivalent brand new piano costs. So this piano, when it's, it's completely restored, is nicer than the middle of the line piano on the market. This piano would be worth ten or twelve thousand dollars, maybe, completely restored. So it cost a bunch of money to fix it up. It's probably worth it. A lot of people look at it and say, "Ah, oh, I wouldn't spend five thousand dollars on that. I'd rather go spend five thousand dollars on a brand new piano." That's that's a that's a, a beauty in the eye of the beholder. That's a, a choice that you have to make. But there's many things about this piano that is worth fixing up, or other old pianos. And so anything you want to do, it would start with an estimate. Uh, most, most people do restoration. Most piano tuners do restoration. I don't know of a single piano tuner I know that doesn't say they do restoration. I've been tuning pianos for 22 years, and I suppose I could say I do restoration too, but I don't. Uh, I work with Northside Music Company. Northside Music is one of the largest piano restoration companies in the United States. And I like that because in 22 years of tuning pianos and working with pianos, I know how to put on strings. I can put on hammers. I can, but we have skilled individuals who spend all day every day putting in strings. And in two or three years of putting in strings, that individual has a lot more experience putting them in than I do in 22 years of tuning pianos. And so we have a lot of people that do this work, and they become very good at it. We do the work for people all over the United States. We just delivered a couple of pianos back to California, even though we're in Indiana. We have some pianos we've done in New Jersey. We have pianos we've delivered to Florida. So if you're interested in this, if you uh, are thinking about your old piano and thinking about is it worth it and how much would it cost, uh, please give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. We can tell you what it costs to get an estimate and maybe make your piano like brand new again. Please give us a call.